Hey, what is going on, you nickel and diming Dedenic? Today, going to be taking a look at Triple Beat, which will be Japan's newest set. Coming out pretty soon, I think. I'm actually not sure when it drops for them. It feels kind of bad, though, because they already have like a full new set being released pretty soon for them. And we still haven't even gotten Scarlet and Violet. So that feels pretty bad. But speaking of Scarlet and Violet, pre-orders are available over at FullGripGames.com for their sealed products. So if you're looking to pick up some sealed Full Grip Games, Scarlet and Violet product. Go to FullGripGames.com. Link will be in the description as always. Uh, and the singles aren't available quite yet, but uh, of course I'll let you know as soon as they are. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let's get into this Triple Beat set review. Now some of these cards I have gone over before. A couple of them, I think. I think this one for sure, at least the big three that we're going to be talking about as far as the EX is gone. I'm pretty sure I've gone over before, but we'll go over them again. And there is some other new cards to take a look at as well. So the Meow Scarada, this one I think is going to be pretty good. 310 HP. Um, it is a stage two, of course. It's got the Magic Bouquet ability. You may discard a Grass Energy from your hand to do 30 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So I think a big card with this card will be Escape Rope. Um, get a little bit further into the card to go over why. Because for two colorless energy, you do 100 in damage plus 120 damage if the active Pokemon has any damage counters on it. So if your opponent like sets up a fresh Pokemon and attacks with it, I mean... You don't really want to be doing 100 damage to it. So if you can escape rope it to the bench, you know, use your ability on it, and then it comes back up later, then you can hit it for 210. But even then, at that point, if it's like an EX, big EX Pokemon, like a Gardevoir, you're not going to be getting the KO on that. So one Magic Bouquet plus a Nail Scratch is only looking at 250 damage. So you're still two Magic Bouquets short. So, you know, a little bit later into the game, maybe you have a couple more Meow Scaretta EX set up, maybe two, maybe three, escape rope it back to the bench, couple more magic bouquets and knock it out and you don't only really have to attack into the same pokemon twice to get the knockout so i think escape will be a really big card with the mouse ex there's another card in this set that i think will be a big card as well for the mouse Garada. but i do think mouse Garada will be pretty good i think the ability is strong 30 damage for one uh for one energy discarded and then only two colorless energy to do 220 damage and the heck they can be colorless energy too which of course you do have to play grass energy basic grass energy to be able to use the ability so you're definitely gonna be running some of those but you can run like i don't know what other energy v guard energy we still have V-Guard energy. I guess that could be a thing. Gift energy. We don't have capture. Uh, capture energy would be insane. We don't have capture energy anymore. So we lose some of our uh, more powerful colorless special energy. But there's still some out there. We can try out some of those. But yeah, Meow Squad, I really like weak to fire. That could be its one weakness that potentially does hold it back. And the next Pokemon we're going to be talking about are the fire Pokemon. I'm going to take a quick look at the Oracorio. 90 HP. It's a basic Pokemon. Decent utility Pokemon, I think, with that passionate dance ability. Once on your turn, you may heal 20 damage from your active evolution Pokemon. Um basic with an ability that does something that seems reasonable specifically seems like it could be decent up against the meow Scarada, actually to be honest uh, and then for the big fiery x we're going to be talking about is that i'm not going to try and pronounce the name you guys see it right there you can try and pronounce it 340 hp that's a lot of hp it's got that vitality song for the first attack 50 damage heal 30 damage from each of your pokemon that's a pretty cool attack for one fire energy to be honest um and then it's got the burning voice for fire fire 270 damage this attack does 10 less damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So 270, we're coming up a little bit short on those big EX numbers. Now, Meow Scarada is weak to fire, so we're still one-hit KOing that. But stuff like the Gardevoir EX, not quite getting that one-hit KO we're probably looking for. You could, could combo the Burning Voice with a Vitality Song, and that is getting you to 320, but that's two attacks to get a knockout. A lot of cards and Pokemon and stuff can do that. I think we want to be able to get one-hit KO, so I think you're going to want to try and combo this EX Pokemon with some way to get like 40, 50 extra damage leading into it. Some earlier game attacker, some closing attacker. I don't know, something to combo with this to actually like make things more effectively a one hit KO. Because yeah, just doing 270 damage for two, two fire energy. It's a lot of damage for two fire energy. That is pretty good. We do take, we do do less damage as we get attacked. But theoretically, if it's on our bench and we attach to it turn one and then turn two rare candy evolve attach or turn two rare candy attach, we're doing 270 damage, right? But you know, we do want to be, like, actually one hit KOing stuff. Like, this isn't even quite one hit KO V-Star Pokemon, which is not great. You want to be one hit KOing those V-Star Pokemon. So, I think we're going to need to combo this with something. I don't know what it is yet. I haven't seen anything so far that makes you go, oh, okay, this is the combo right here. This is what we're going to put this with. I don't know yet. I th you need something. You need a little bit of action. You need something to close out the damage. You do 270 first, clean up the knockout later, or you do some early damage and then clean up with the 270. I don't know. You need combo with something. It's got to go with something. Uh, next, we got the, I'm not going to try and pronounce the name on this one either, 220 HP. Um, the Water EX, 
starter Pokemon. Lively Samba for uh, a single water energy switches Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. Then your opponent switches are active with one of their benched Pokemon. It's a cool little hit and run here. You know, you hit for 60 and then you could run to something that might be a little bit disruptive to your opponent or, you know, just not leaving your own EX in the active is kind of cool. Um, that does kind of set up decently for your second attack, which is only does 230 damage. But if you're doing like a 60 hit and run into a 230, you're like 20, 30 damage short of two, a two hit KO on other EX Pokemon. For water colorless, put two energy from this Pokemon into your hand. That is the big drawback, though. Putting two water, putting two energy from this Pokemon into your hand. We do still have double turbo energy, so you go like attach water, attach double turbo, put the double turbo only back in your hand. But they only hitting for 210 damage. That's not enough to two hit KO some of these EX Pokemon. As more and more EX Pokemon come out, more and more of them are going to be top meta decks, which means you're going to be able, you're going to have to find a way to deal with these 300 HP Pokemon in an efficient way. And that's what I was saying with the the fire EX Pokemon we just took a look at isn't quite getting there and i think with this one this one's even getting there even less so this one seems like the meow scarada seems like the best of these ex's this one seems like the worst and the crocodile one seems decent but i think it needs a little bit i don't know what that little bit is quite yet uh moving along we got the miss mages when you play this card from your hand to evolve one of your pokemon during your turn you may choose an energy attached to your opponent's active pokemon and move it to one of their bench pokemon so really cool ability it is on a stage one and with scoop up net rotating you don't have like an efficient way to like reuse this ability aggressively so it is kind of kind of a cool ability on this miss mages and i could see it being good if energy acceleration if the top decks in a format don't have much energy acceleration so you can be really disruptive about controlling your opponent's energy but you know guard for ex accelerates energy um i think we still have the grass welder supporter I think it's, that's not rotating, but I forget the name of it. We still have that. <laughs> so I don't think, you know, committing a bunch of like a 3-3, three, three, a 2-2 two, two line of Miss Mages is going to be enough. Unless there's like some Pokemon that de-evolves your Pokemon, unless you like constantly reuse it. I could see that being a thing. The Dene EX is a terrestrial Pokemon, so it can't be hit while it's on the bench from your opponent's attacks. 170 HP, Psychic Psychic Tail Whap or Tail Swap. Move all damage from one of your bench Pokemon to your opponent's active Pokemon. So pretty good actually attack, I feel like, with that, with the tail Swap could be a cool addition as like a one of in a Guard War EX deck. And move all damage from one of your bench Pokemon to your opponent's active. I mean, that's like, that's pretty strong. Only 170 HP. So you're probably giving up two prize cards on your next turn. But you completely negate the amount of damage your opponents potentially did on their last turn. Especially if it's in like a deck where your opponent has to like utilize resources to do damage turn to turn. Then I could see this being a pretty powerful addition to like a Guard War deck. And then Psychic, 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 once 170, discard an energy from this Pokemon with only 170 HP you're probably getting knocked out on your next turn anyway, so it's not really a big deal that you are losing an energy. We've got the Tinkaton. Uh, stage 2 Pokemon. It has a really good ability, but it is a Stage 2 Pokemon. I don't know if we're committing space to a draw engine that is a Stage 2 Pokemon. Gather Materials is the ability. You must discard a card from your hand in order to use this ability. Once during your turn, you may draw three cards. Pretty powerful ability. The trade for three, but it's on a Stage 2. I don't think we're committing a Stage 2 line of Pokemon to our deck to draw cards. Doesn't seem worth it. And then for a psychic colorless, 90 damage. If this Pokemon has any special energy attached, this attack does 90 more damage. 180 for a psychic colorless on a stage two. Doesn't seem worth setting up to me. We got the Lycan Rock EX. For a fighting, it does 40, 260 HP. And then for a fighting colorless, colorless, it is a stage one as well. 140 to your opponent's next turn. If this Pokemon is damaged by an attack, even if it's knocked out, put 10 damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So 10, 10 damage counters, not one damage counter that is a 10 10 damage counter so it does you know 10 damage counters 100 damage um so 100 damage onto your opponent's attacking pokemon that seems pretty decent weak to grass mascarada is going to hit it pretty hard of course 260 hp seems okay 140 damage seems okay fighting double colorless a little bit awkward of an energy requirement are we putting a double turbo on this i guess so we're only doing 120 we do 100, 100 back after they hit us. Mm, I don't know. It'd be rough to see this card actually being viable. Kind of cool overall. Um, I think it's, it seems like solid stats, but I don't think quite good enough to keep up with these stage two monsters that are the EX. We got the Paladin uh, Claw Desire EX. Ability Poison Bog. Once in your turn, if there is a stadium in play, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon poison. All right. Solid. And then for... Dark Colors. Colors, you do 200 damage flip coin if Tails' this Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. So you're doing 200 damage. They're poisoned. You have 200 HP, 280 HP, excuse me. As a stage one, that seems solid. Uh, three retreat costs shouldn't be a big deal. We do still have Sneasler, the Radiant Sneasler in the format, so that increase poison damage by two in between turns. So if your opponent's active doesn't retreat, you're looking at 260 damage. 
a little bit short on some of these big stage two EX Pokemon, but you're going to be a little bit faster, a little bit more aggressive because you are a stage one. Would have to combo this with probably double turbo energy once again, I guess. Actually, do I don't even know if we keep Dark Patch, to be honest. I don't think so. So, Dark Colorless Colorless, probably using it with a double turbo, 180. Once again, I think it's going to come up a little bit short being able to compete with the stage two EX Pokemon. The stage two EX Pokemon just seem to outclass the um, stage one EX Pokemon way quite a bit. Hydrogon, 180 HP, stage two. Try Howl ability once in your turn. You may look at the top three cards of your deck and attach any number of energy cards you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like. Any energy. Discard the other cards, though. If it didn't have to discard the other cards, I was thinking, like, maybe some kind of cool one prizer deck could be built with this. Where you set up the Hydrogon and accelerate energy to different Pokemon. Probably one prizers. But you discard the other cards. So that seems to be, like, too big of a drawback. So Hydrogon, uh, kind of on the... Uh, suck list um superior energy retrieval this is the big card that i think will combo super super well with meow once you have a couple of meow online using their abilities discarding grass energy every turn you're going to want to be able to probably have some way to recover those grass energy i think superior energy retrieval does the trick super super well discard two cards from your hand uh, if you can't discard two cards you can't play this card put four basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand so theoretically you know you could use an energy retrieval get back uh four grass energy to discard pile if you have three Mascarada EX set up, you use three of their abilities, and then you attach for turn, and that's, you know, 90 damage plus your attack. That's pretty good. So, yeah, Superior Energy Retrieval seems like it'll be a super strong card with Mascarada. Super strong card in general was a ridiculously powerful card before when we had it. This is a reprint for anyone who didn't play back then. We've had this card in the past. It's been a while since we've had it. I don't even remember the last time we had it, like 2014, 15, maybe. Uh, but yeah, combo seems to combo super well with Mascarada. And even if it doesn't, or even if Mascarada is bad, still a powerful card. I expect it to see play in the future at some point with some deck uh, for sure. Great ball coming back. Look at the top seven. You may reveal a Pokemon you find there and put into your hand. So nothing changing on the Great Ball. Just a reprint there. Uh, I think it's the first reprint we've had of this in the. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Dendra, put one card from your hand at the bottom of your deck, then draw cards until you have five in your hand. Uh, you can't use this card if it is the last card in your hand. This does not seem like a great draw supporter when we have research in the format. I don't think it's going to see very much play, if any play at all. Uh, Clavel, search your deck for up to three basic Pokemon that have 120 HP or less and put them into your hand. So this could be pretty good if the game does slow down a little bit and we're really taking our time to set up our stage 2 EX Pokemon. Clavel seems like it could be a uh, pretty solid setup card. We'll see. We haven't really played around setup supporters in quite some time. It's been a while since we've played like Bridget or Apricorn Maker and stuff like that. So setup supporters really haven't been a thing for quite a while, but I could see them making a return once we get more Scarlet and Violet sets out and stage two EX Pokemon kind of become the norm of, uh, the norm of, you know, what we try and use as a main attacker for most, uh, most decks. So Falconer, draw two cards. If you have a stadium in play, draw two more cards. Terrible draw supporter. The boss's orders reprint in the Getsis uh, form. We got the... Artisan Town. Once certain inspiration that my player may search their deck for one basic Pokemon and play it onto their bench. Then that player shuffles their deck. So pretty aggressive Pokemon search card. So it actually seems like it would be a pretty powerful card to be honest. But you do give it to your opponent as well. So that's kind of the drawback. You get to use it. You do get to use it first. But then your opponent gets to also use it. It's kind of the drawback there. But I think it will be a stadium that's definitely played in some decks. These stadiums like this usually when it's like super powerful for your opponent as well. Generally not that as good, but I think we will see some decks play this that really want aggressive Pokemon search, basic Pokemon search on that first turn. Uh, Lesson to do the attacks of each player's stage one evolution Pokemon do 10 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So 10 more damage. I don't know. That's not a lot. <laughs> With these EX stage twos having 310 HP. I don't know. Maybe this will be the difference maker for the Claude Zyres and the Lycanroc EXs of the format. Maybe that 10 damage will be enough to make them viable, but maybe not, and that would be my guess. We'll see, though. You never really know uh, how things numbers are going to play out until you actually test games with the format. Jet Energy, a new kind of special energy. Not a reprint, but it's similar to Warp Energy that we've had in the past. The way Warp Energy works is when you attach it to your active Pokemon, you switch it with one of your bench Pokemon. The way Jet Energy works, though, is you attach it to one of your bench Pokemon, and you switch it with your active Pokemon. I don't think this card is very good. I'm not going to lie. Why are we attaching energy to our bench Pokemon? That's not going to happen too much, I don't think, to switch into the active. So Jet Energy, eh, I could see it as being as a, like a couple of, maybe just as like a weird, like a switch out that is also an energy for turn. So it's not terrible. Um, it just seems like okay. Uh, if people are kind of like talking about it, potentially being a card in Lost Box because it allows you to like get like an extra comfy use off because it like gives you one more switch for your turn. Uh, no, I don't think so. 
uh, luminous energy. We're getting a rainbow energy super early on here. I'm not surprised by that either. They're definitely going to give us some kind of rainbow energy eventually. Luminous energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, provides every type of energy, but only provides one at a time. If it is attached to a Pokemon with another special energy attached to them, um, it provides one colorless energy instead. So it has to be on a Pokemon as the only special energy. If there's any other special energy on you, the Pokemon, this is attached to, it's no longer a rainbow energy, just a colorless energy. And I think that's, yeah, that's going to do it for Triple Beat. Not too much. Mascar Mascarada looking pretty cool. We're getting a rainbow energy again. A couple okay stadiums. Nothing really in the supporter department, which is kind of uh, unfortunate, to be honest. Yeah, kind of unfortunate. Nothing really too much in the supporter department. Super powerful trainer card in the super energy retrieval. I think a super, I uh, probably stayed a uh, tier one, tier two deck from Mascarada. Will the other stage two EXs be able to hold up the water one and the fire one? The fire one is my prediction to be the better of the two. The water one looks like it'll be terrible. Potentially the crocodile might be able to do something. 270 for two fire. Just, that's just a lot of damage. Like it's just, you're just doing a lot of damage with this thing. Um, but if there's no real way to like get that extra 40, 50 damage to be able to get like an effective one hit KO on these other stage two X Pokemon, then, you know, who doesn't matter how hard you hit. If you're having to hit with it back to back turns, the first hit could just be 160 damage because 160 plus 160 is 320, which KOs most stage two EX Pokemon. If we're doing 270, 270, it's the same thing, but we could be using a different attacker that has more utility in the attack for less damage. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see on that, to be honest, like if uh, if this pans out. Of course, though, if you're going to put something against something like Guard War, Guard War is damaging itself to actually get to be able to attack. So maybe that's where this will line up very well. You want to KO Meowskarada because it's weak to fire, and you'll maybe just be one to on Guard Wars because they damage themselves and put themselves in range for you to be able to get that knockout with the Fire Crocodile Pokemon, whose name I'm not going to try and pronounce. And that's going to be my set review of Triple Beat. We're not going to be getting this set for quite a while, I don't think. I think we're like probably, what, three months out from this set. Um, but yeah, Scott and Bite will finally be coming up soon, so we'll have some fresh cards to work with. And we already have some more fresh cards to look forward to. Catch you all in the next video. Peace.